<clears throat> oh, hi Guida, how you doing? Um, I was just, uh, I was just having a look at these, uh, oh jeez, having a look at these, um, tools here. You know, just testing them out, seeing how they work and stuff like that. No, I wasn't messing around. That's a weapon of mass destruction. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mess around, okay? I mean, you know me. Super serious. This is very serious stuff here. These are all weapons that could cause a lot of harm. I would never, never mess around with them anywhere. Welcome back, guys, to the disassembly dimension, where today we are going to be taking apart some more stuff, seeing what's inside, and just seeing how they're put together. It's actually quite interesting. So we have a wide variety of stuff here. Are you kidding me? We've got a house? A Hellfire Missile? What the heck? These things are crazy. The Titanic? Okay, well, this is insane. All right, well, all of that stuff sounded quite intense. So we're going to start off quite small. We're going to start off with a simple bike here before we move on to, you know, a Hellfire Missile. I feel like that's the natural progression. So let's go ahead and let's take this bike apart if we can. Now, can anything come off here? Oh, we can maybe take the brakes off. Maybe we need to unscrew this tiny little screw there. Let's have a look at our at our tools here. Will this screwdriver work on here? Oh, I think it might. Hold on. Oh, no, it needs to be something else. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Uh, spanner, maybe not. Maybe a hex wrench. Let's try this. This is the right tool? That's not the right tool. Pliers, maybe? Can we use pliers on this? Not really. Can I cut the brakes? Doesn't look like it. Oh, look, we can actually use this on here. So that takes off, uh, hopefully, the handlebars, right? Yes, there we go. So is it really not the same tool that takes off the these little parts here? I guess not. No, they are definitely not coming out. Have we got anything else here connected by this... Uh, this thing, maybe this little screw here? No, that's red, which means it won't work. Okay. Does this seat kind of uh, pull off here? Well, Guida, if I can't do it, you definitely aren't going to be able to do it, are you? Remember? No hands? There is this little screw here, and, uh, oh my gosh, I just picked this entire bike up with my own hands. Okay, maybe I can throw it against the wall to kind of break it. Ugh! Oh, okay. No, never mind. Oh, we can take this little area off here, this little bolt here, to get rid of this, uh... Hold on, can we get rid of that? Maybe it's got to be on the other side as well. Can I pick this up, please? Right here, is this? Yes. So now will this come unthreaded? Yes, which means the entire wheel... No, maybe not. Here we go. Here's one right here. Get rid of that. One on the other side. And this entire wheel should just come fumbling off, but it doesn't look like it is. Maybe there's one just here. You see that, guys? Hold on. Ugh. This is so tough. It's like surgery or something. Will this really not come off? There we go. Okay, so we got rid of that. Uh, maybe this entire thing will just come off here. Oh, maybe not, but this bike is going at like supersonic speeds now. Oh, we do have a bolt right here. If I get rid of this, will that like come apart now? No, it doesn't look like it. There must be... Ah, yes, there's another bolt right here. Back to the pliers. Now, will this come off? Tool required? Okay, okay. We need something else for this little thing right here. Let's just see what we have here. Um, okay. I don't think it'll be the crowbar. Maybe the hex wrench? Um, hold on. Yes, it is. Look at this. Hold on, there we go. So we took out that little bolt there. Now we should be able to just pull out this little green pipe in the center if we can. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, we did it. How many parts have we got left? Let me just put that there for a second. Don't go out the window, whatever you do. 63? Jeez. Honestly, who would have thought that this would be so hard to take apart? This is insane, Guida. Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean look behind me? Okay, well, I'll have a look, but... Uh... Oh! Have you been stood there that whole time? Where did you come from? Uh, hello? Sir? Are you okay? Do you want these pliers in your face? Can I just... Oh, oh, now he looks sad. Hey, man, man, cheer up. Cheer up, okay? There's no need to be so upset. Yeah, look at this. Look, don't you find this interesting? Guido, do not be mean. This is my new best friend. His name is Hank, and he is a mannequin, okay? Ah, uh, Hank... Hankening. That makes no sense. So, Hank, what I can do is ply off this little screw here, just like that, and then this little thing should just break apart. Look at that. That's amazing, isn't it? Here, catch. Um, you can have this. Let me just put it under your arm there. There you go. Oh, my gosh. What are you doing? Um, he's, like, floating in midair. Um, I don't know what to think about this. Okay, I tell you what, Hank. You're a little bit creepy, not gonna lie. I'm gonna pick you up. And, uh, oh my gosh, look at his butt. And we're gonna say goodbye. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, he's back on his feet. Okay, come on. It feels like we're having a battle, Guida. Be gone. Get out of here, Hank. Hank, nobody wants you anymore, okay? Come on. Get, get, get out. Okay, I'm gonna thread you through this little gap here, Hank. No, okay, he really doesn't want to go. It's so weird how he, like, flies around 
He's like an alien or something. Well, guys, looks like we've got a new friend, Hank. Uh, that window is still smashing a little bit, so we've got to keep an eye on that. Uh, so none of this looks like it come, can come apart here. We do have a little screw area right there. You see that? Maybe, maybe we can use like some kind of wrench on it. Hold on. Let me catch this in mid- Oh, no. That was a lot cooler in my head. Like maybe we can ply these off or something. We need a different tool. Um, maybe just a screwdriver or, or the hex wrench. The hex wrench looks tiny enough for these. Ah, uh, there we go. So we take these two out. Is this going to break anything apart? Oh, yeah. Only everything. So now we've got the wheel here. This part should be able to come off there. Maybe Maybe we can get this inner bit off here, but I'm not sure if we can. Okay, we'll just leave that all together. Put that right over there. Oh, yeah, perfect. That's exactly where I wanted it. There is a little area right here. Maybe we can use uh, the hex wrench here. Kind of unscrew this. Actually, it looks like it's bolted in from the other side. Um, no, we can't use that. I kind of feel like we maybe need a certain tool unlock to be able to do that, but maybe not. I'm hoping this wheel can kind of just fall off here. If I just pull everything apart. Is this... What is that? Hank, is that you? Here we go. Got some more screws right here. So this part should just fall apart here. Oh, yeah, exactly what I wanted to do. This part should just fall apart if we do something like this. Pull the wheel straight off here. And uh, I'll put the frame over there. So we should have, yes, a couple more parts within here. Surely this thing comes out, right? We still have 41 parts to go. This is insane. How is there so much? Okay, so we can't pull this thing out here. Doesn't look like... No, I think it requires something a, with a bit more a bit more strength to grip this area. This thing really is only for like tiny screws. Surely we can use the pliers, right? Surely the pliers will... No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, we took something off there. Okay, so it looks like there's screws on top of screws. Great. So I think it's a combination of the uh, spanner here and the... Uh, and the screwdriver. There's like a little cap you can take off. Or is it the pliers? Oh, no, there we go. Okay, so we take that off, then swap to the screwdriver. Use them in combination. And we should be able to take off this. Yes, just like that. And is this? Yes, okay, awesome. Put that over that. Oh, not again. Guido, I've really got to stop breaking everything here. This is not going well, is it? Ah, oh, well, dude, yeah. Um, I think you're going to pay for that. Yeah, dude, well, you're kind of here with me, sir. It kind of works out like that. I hope you don't mind. Hank, do you mind? He doesn't mind. Guido, you're paying for it, buddy. So it looks like it should be the same method here. We take off, like, the safety cap thing, uh, which is at this side. Yeah, and then we swap to the screwdriver, and we do this. Man, I'm learning a lot here. There we go. Now, this has come undone. Looks like we've got a tiny little screw there. I do wonder if we should use the screwdriver for this job. Well, that kind of... Oh, oh, it's spinning around. Um, how am I supposed to do this? Oh, it just goes through the sea. Okay, perfect. That comes off there. This is useless. We do have a couple of extra parts right here. So if I do this, we should be able to see the innards. There's something in there, isn't there? How am I supposed to get this off? Oh, just like that, I guess. I guess I just fiddle around until something works. Now, does this part? Yep, that part comes apart as well. This is a very uncomfy seat. Let's put that over there. Uh, anything else? We still have 25 parts left. Are you kidding me? Okay, we must be able to get rid of these bricks here, surely. Yeah, they do have that combination of the, uh, of the little safety cap and the screws here. So let's try remove this. There we go. And uh, may as well do it from the other side as well. Just like that. Just like that. And just like... Uh, come on. It's so tough. There we go. Just like that. Now we use that in combination with screwdriver here. And it all kind of comes falling apart. Okay, we only have nine parts left. So let's keep looking for these. I kind of feel like if something's a different color to like the main base, it can come off like this little red cap here. Yep, that comes off just like that. So that's another part done. I actually feel like now it's high time to pull out the uh, the part finder here. So let's see what we can see. Um, it's not really working very well, is it? Um, oh, yep, over this way. Uh, maybe over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure definitely on there. Actually, maybe on this tire, maybe there's something we can pull apart. I mean, that's a that's a maybe. I think there should be something right here, surely. Okay, just hunting down these final parts. And they definitely seem to be in this area right here. Um, yeah, we are getting super close to them. So, we should have one around here somewhere. Oh, we've got another one of these things. Oh, it's the pedals, isn't it? Okay, so this interior tube should slide out just like that. Four more parts. Oh, wait, what about the inner frame here? Can this kind of, like, pop out? Right, there must be somewhere it can pop out here. Uh, we need a tool for that. Okay, what could it be here? What could it be? Maybe the precision driver? Hmm, no, we, we don't really use that for anything. I'm kind of trying to think maybe there's something we can use, which is, uh, kind of works with the same stuff we've used prior. 
Oh, there we go. You can kind of just pop the tire off. <laughs> that is amazing. Okay, three more parts. So if I go back to this tire here, hopefully this will still work because it's kind of wedged into the ground, but we should be able to kind of, yeah, pop the tire right off. And let's use the part finder again to find these final two parts here. My gosh, this is so tough. Okay, so it's in this area here. I would have thought it would have been on the wheel. But I guess not. It's got to be around here somewhere, surely. I'm looking around... Do, not getting any beeps right now, part finder. Please, please help. No, we are stood right on top of something that needs taking apart some more. You can see it right here. Um, oh, what is this? Oh, wait, no, that, I thought that was like a wire sticking out. So it must be something around here, surely. Um, let's just see if it reconfigures whereabouts the part is, just so I can find it. It's like a little treasure hunt. Um, hmm. Oh wait, what about right here? Yeah, surely this has got to be it. Surely this little thing in the center here. I think it's so hard to get out on this tiny level. Can I just, can I just grab it without, there we go. Is that it? Are we done? One more part, are you kidding me? Um, what about this tiny little box? Is this, wait, oh, there's another metal thing in here. This is it. Okay, so the way I did it is I just put it down on the ground and then slowly, or quickly rather, rolled it out like that and we should be done, right? Are we done? Oh, thank goodness. And Guida, guess what we've unlocked? Now we've destroyed that bike. Well, it's the natural progression. You go from spanners to screwdrivers to wrenches to handguns. This one looks really strange, but trust me, man, it still works. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> so I kind of want to see what happens, guys. This has always been a weird fantasy of mine. I want to see what happens if we blend a gun. So here we are, welcome to Steven Guido's cooking show. Today we've got our ingredients here. We've got an apple, which looks very plastic, and we've got this... Uh, orange? It kind of looks like an orange that's been left in direct sunlight for too long, but that isn't the, the main priority here. The main priority... Oh, okay, great. Is using this blender here to make ourselves a delicious gun smoothie. So let's start by putting our ingredients in here. We've got the orange, the apple, and we've got the gun. Okay, so I just kind of fit in there. There we go. Just like that. Perfect. Now we're going to... Oh, it's, it's not happy with that. Now we're going to see what happens if we turn it on. Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. We're fine. We're fine. Sir, will you please cooperate? Let's try it again. There we go. We can't kind of put the lid on, but I'm going to attempt it. Just like that. And here we go. Gun smoothie coming right up. Just like this. Oh, it's just missing out there. Okay, we need to push it in further. Here we go. Come on, get in there. There we... Oh... Jeez, okay, it doesn't like this. It doesn't like this. Oh, you know what, Guida? This is driving me insane. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, I think we got it. We have 59 parts left, and, uh, well, we destroyed most of this, so let's just keep going here. Come on, there must be more parts in here. <laughs> and look at that, we've gone from 59 parts down to four. This is so much faster. There we go, just shoot into that. Just like this. How many more parts? Two? Okay, let's keep going. We're solving problems the good old-fashioned way. When there's a problem, just shoot it. There we go. There must be a couple more parts in here somewhere. Let's just keep blasting it until something works. I actually feel like it needs a more gentle touch. I feel like it's this metal bit at the top here. Or there might be like parts within parts here. Let's just dig through the wreckage until we see something. Maybe this little tube in the middle there? I don't know. We might have to pull out the part finder. Okay, Guido, rather embarrassingly, I'm going to have to pull out the part finder here here to try find these final couple of parts because there's just so many tiny things here it's just it's just not gonna work out so I need to hunt for these things if I can yeah so they're somewhere in this pile maybe maybe they're in these little components here there must be something here yep somewhere amongst these tiny tiny parts oh here we go I think we've actually found it uh, amongst these tiny tiny parts is a tiny tiny smaller part and that's us done. Woo! I told you this is going to be a good investment, Guida. This is amazing. Well, there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this installment of the Disassembly Dimension. Uh, it was quite fun. Got to try out a bunch of brand new weapons, and it was a lot of fun working out how to... Oh, Guida, I'm not going to do anything stupid. Don't be silly. I would never do anything at this close of a range. Just, uh, just look away for a second. I think... Oh, wait, what's that? What's that? Yeah, yeah, have a look. Have a look. Here we go. Three, two, one...